Hello, hello, welcome YouTube. Brandon Robinson back here with yet another brand new exciting video entry in the Super Mega Baseball 2 series. It's really Super Mega Softball 2 if you think about it. I am talking with about my softball girls after all. They're pitching kind of underhand and I'm having fun with that. We are 6-0. We are first in our division and we are playing the last place team in our division for two straight games. We're playing the Blowfish and I think we are... Against, I think we're at the Blowfish's Park for the next two games. So kind of a strange schedule. I don't know how they really arrange these things, but let's take a look at this right now. Let's take a look at this splash screen and uh, see what's going on. So the Blowfish are five games back of us in the division. Okay, now they now if you look at their team, it really falls on shoddy defense and their bullpen. It looks like they can hit, they have some decent running, and their starting pitching is not too bad. And it depends on who we face. We're facing their number three guy, Bartholomew Draculo. Um, and I got Izzy starting on the mound for us in this game here. Um, looking at their top few players here, they don't show the power. No home runs there. Their notable players are hitting under 300 as well, whereas our notable players are around the 500 mark, if not higher. So, uh, you know, we'll see how things go. I do not want to underestimate them. I'm going to use the first game really as a scouting report for that next game. And if we crush them, then maybe I will underestimate them a little bit. But, however, uh, they might they might hand it to us. You never know. We are 6-0. I am looking to go 7-0, 7-0, if not 8-0 in these next couple games here. Let's go ahead and get started and see how we do. So, um, you know, one thing I noticed, I did go back and look at my previous lineups in my game entries from my other videos, and it looks like I've started Paige every single game. Uh, I broke one of my house rules of not starting someone five games in a row, and I played her for six games already, so she's not going to start this next game. Hopefully she sees the field at some point. I, I mean, it depends on if I need her or not. Uh, definitely a day where I can see maybe Jaro playing some shortstop here. So I think I'm going to look to that for now. We'll see. I haven't done anything else with the lineup other than thinking about that one bit. Um, <clears throat> Jaro, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving Jaro like a little bit more of a leash here to figure out kind of whether or not she's going to be seeing more of the starting lineup or less. She hasn't been doing too well recently, but things can always change here. Um, probably a good game to work out Callista here and Dulce. And I want to keep Gabby Morgan in this lineup for sure. Jada is on a cold streak right now. This is where Gabby can play first base, and then I can get Dulce out there in the outfield. Um, Raya is coming back in the lineup, and I want her here with Monet. Well, Raya can actually play third base. I think I have her set for that possibility, and then she can catch, like, the next three straight games, and she won't be fatigued or anything else. That's looking good in that sense. Uh, if Morella is in, then Julie is not, but right now neither are. So... If I were to put somebody somewhere here, let me let me think about this. Kendall's on the up and up. She had that home run. I loved it. Uh, Izzy, I'm going to bat Izzy third in this one. I like to put her in third when I'm able to. Especially if Paige is out, right? Because then I don't have... Jada's not going to be a three hitter much for me anymore, even though she's not even playing in this game. Uh, I need to get Julia or Morella in this game, though. Let's see. Taylor, Kendall, Gabby, Dulce. I need to keep Gabby in here, though, too. How about, instead of Callista for now, let's go Morella. And then I'm going to get Julie in a couple games outside of that for, uh, instead of Morella there. Um, liking looks of this lineup here. Going to swap a couple more things around and then I'll be set. Actually, I'm liking that right now. Lineups look good. They never don't say lineups looking good. You can put the worst crap out there and put a pitcher in who didn't pitch the previous game, and they'll say, lineups looking good. So there's nothing really with that. The new game is coming out, Super Mega Baseball 3. I don't know when. Sometime this month in April. It's uh, April 1st when I'm recording this game. Um, I'm going to try and upload a game a day onto YouTube. So I already recorded it. You've already seen it at this point because this one's being uploaded. This one's likely going to be uploaded on April 3rd. Uh, when all said and done. I want to record ahead of time because I know some days I'm not going to be able to record ahead of time. So, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to be able to record on the day. And then I just got to edit it down and make sure that everything is in line. So I'm pre-recording some games early. I want to record a game a day. And then I think at that point, Super Mega Baseball 3 will probably come out. If I have about 25 more games to go and about 25 days left, I'm thinking if that last week of April is when it comes out, then, you know, we'll go ahead and play that in. All right, so we are the road team. We haven't been the road team in a while. Even one game when we were the road team, we were actually, interesting ballpark, 
we were actually playing at our same home stadium, so it didn't really feel like a, oh, a road game there when we did that. But this is different. Um, the, the other game we played at, that one road game, was at that like Big Apple Stadium or whatever it was. It was, it was that night nighttime field. Ooh, that looks pretty inside. One thing that's going to be interesting about Super Mega Baseball, well, not interesting, but something that's kind of been a long time coming. Way to beat that out, Kendall. She can do that in real life, too. Something that's a long time coming is, um, you know, if, if you've noticed that our Sakura Hills home field always has kind of that dusk, that, like, twilight, orangey, sunset. Ooh, nice shot, Izzy. Oh. Interesting configuration here. It always kind of has that sunset look. This one kind of has that, too. This is, like, late afternoon. But you can never change the time of day. So, I don't think Sakura Hills is necessarily going to be in the next game. However, I wish they kept old things in the newer games. I don't think they will. But that includes... I don't think I'm going to steal right now. That includes, like, teams... Um, team... Um, I should have probably bad Monet fourth for this game. Team... Uh, what was I talking about? You know, like players. Like this guy. Nirub Uwanga. I don't think we're going to see Narub Uwanga in the next game because they'll have brand new players and brand new teams and all that stuff. Brand new stadiums, all that. Props them for being creative, and I don't want them to ever stop doing that. But why not keep the old guys too? At least you can import them or something. I would really love that feature. That would be fanciful, but they won't do that. That being said, this stadium likely won't appear in the next game. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought maybe that ball is going to keep carrying. I didn't know what was going on. I kind of like this field, Batch Wilson. Um, so, that being said, we might not see the stadium again, but if the stadium were to appear, you wouldn't only have a late afternoon setting. You could play daytime, late afternoon, or nighttime, or that evening sky or something like that. Um, maybe there's time of day progression as well, I'm not sure. And I'm speaking more on Super Mega Baseball 3 than currently Super Mega Baseball 2, and this team, as Izzy so far has gotten the first two batters out, um, and the first three batters out. Oh, you bet. Oh, wait, hang on. Low throw. Nope. Oh, I want to challenge that one. That looks good. If I threw it a little harder there. Let me, let me pause for a second as I'm looking at the situation here. I got Izzy with kind of a, cur it's a cut fastball, but I call it a curveball in softball terms. Runner's kind of fast here. Two down. We didn't score a run. Jose, what is that? Carloco? I think it's Carloco. Can hit the ball pretty well, but not very fast. Get out. Get foul. No. Can hit the ball pretty well. Who needs speed when you hit it out of the park like that? Right, I got to work to corner pitch here. Interesting ballpark. It's kind of cool. I'm going to play here twice in a row. I'm going to play this team twice in a row. And I really got Elvis Stanley. Look at his pose. It looks kind of like Elvis, but with glasses. I really got to get a scouting report on this team right now, and I feel like I have one on Jose, I forget his name, Carlasco, I think. Um, I got Emily starting the next game as well, Emily McHugh, who, uh-oh. Jesus Christ! This isn't good, okay. I underestimated this team's 1-5 record, I guess. Last place in the division, I don't know how that works, look. Everything is different when you simulate a game versus when you actually play it. When you hang balls like that, that was totally on me. Uh, Izzy, I'm going to try, especially with hot hitters like this, I'm going to try and lay some a lot more on the corner and risk walking people every so often if need be. i got to make sure that I'm not hanging balls like that for now. I want to make sure this lead isn't too uncomfortable for them. All right. I had a quick two outs, even though one was flown out to the warning track before that. It was kind of a surprise one. But uh, let's see what we can do. And look, it's kind of a dome-ish. It's like a... I can't go and like replay and figure out whether it's like more of a uh, half dome. Maybe it's a full dome. I'll... Look at that little car driving up the rock. This is cool. I've never played at this stadium before. All right. Good take, all told. So this pitcher, pretty, pretty pin... Oh, 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 I missed that one. Pretty pinpoint accurate. Yeah, so that so that shadow, maybe that maybe it is just a regular time of day thing, but uh, there's kind of that dome thing going on. All right, Merle's batting 250 on the year here. I need her to up up her thing, and she got her first RBI in that last game, I, if I recall correctly, or maybe it was the game before when she played there. I think it was the game before got her first RBI. So, yeah, really really looking to do something with some players. I and mean, look at this damage here, Gabby Morgan's doing 556 batting average. 
I'm gonna say she, ooh, I'm gonna say she's five for nine. Whoa, nice high hop. I'm gonna say five for ten now, batting 500 now, but three home runs. Two, three of her five hits are home runs. Can you believe that? If it's five hits there. Dulce probably looking at three for nine on the year. Clutch player, she at, at least can be. Look at that, that's on a contact swing. Okay, couldn't get the run home. Gonna get it done next next inning here. I gotta stop swinging at first pitches so often. I really gotta work on that personally. Uh, we are an undefeated group. I'm not anticipating us to go undefeated the whole year. Things are gonna happen. I am still rusty coming back from not playing this game for quite a while. Good pitch. Ooh, pretty good pitch. Uh, not playing this game for quite a while, so um, you can expect some rust, maybe a loss here or there. My team can run into some things as well, so if we get a good inning, anything can happen. Alfonso Delgado. Alfonso, you're going to hit into a double play right here because I'm going to jam you inside. There, I'm going to jam you inside. Jam you inside again, this time with the cut fastball. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. All right, let's see. Jeez, whoa! That ball's carrying a lot more than I expected to. I thought, not routine flyout, but I thought it was a flyout there. That was a nice pitch. Good God, thank God they're having their pitcher up right now because I gotta do something here. I kinda want the infield up. This halfway, guard lines, bunt, double play, in. Pitcher up, infield up, second and third. I gotta, I gotta play yes, prevent D. Look, they're going home, what are you guys doing? Boom. Oh, I should've thrown to first, I was not paying attention. Especially the pitcher up. If I can get him to ground to double play, which is unlikely with their leadoff hitter up, with Nirub. But if I can get him to ground to double play, that would be fantastic. It would be a great inning. It's not even minimized damage, it's... Oh, darn it. Oh my god. Oh no. What's happening? Oh my god. Uh-oh. I'm down 6 nothing. It's the second inning. Is he not having a good start here? Uh... It, it, look, it's my fault. I'm not throwing the best pitches right now. I'm, Talking over strategizing here. Six nothing. Good lord. And her mojo's going down quite a bit here. Oh, I really wanted a double play. I went from minimizing damage to damage done. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not a great inning, guys. This I, I'm I'm not speaking too soon on a first loss thing, but man, this would be an epic comeback, I'll tell you what. It's our three hitter. I don't, I don't know if they'd be stealing right now. That It'd be kind of mean if they did. I'm, sh I'm sure I've stolen on uh, big leads, though, as well. Come on! Oh, no! Izzy might not last long this game. Good thing is my bullpen's pretty healthy. I haven't thrown Tony in a while. I know that for sure. But I'm not taking not taking Izzy out right now. That's for sure. i got to figure this thing out. So I'm getting, I'm getting ahead in the count, okay? And look at that. That's a dunk. Come on! No! This is not a good game. Uh-oh. 8 nothing, And a triple. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I did, I... Look, I, I had 19 hits in Game 5, and I think 11 in Game 6. And I looked at the other teams that I played, and outside of the first game, I wasn't giving up many runs outside of like three, four, and five runs. So what I did, I don't know if you guys remember the ego values here. Look at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, the, the bat is at 85. It was at 80 in the first four games in the year. I switched it up to 81 the last two games. It didn't change much. The base running and the defense has always been at 99. The pitching was at 90. I moved it up to 95. Something has changed going from 90 to 95. The offense has gotten good. So, I'm cheating myself. Yes, I am. By upping the difficulty. So, I'm cheating myself. Like, I'm cheating myself in a bad way. I'm affecting myself. And look, coming clean with that allowed me to get two quick outs just like that. And it's paid dividends for the other team. So, it's not just Izzy's fault. It's not just my fault or anything like that. I did up the difficulty. So, I forgot about that until I just realized that when I had that moment of clarity. I'm going to take till I get a strike. I got to not hit into outs and I'll take a walk. Look at that. 2-0. Good eye. Good eye. Okay. Here we go. There we go. All right. Okay. I need something like that. And Jaro needs it as well. You know, she really needs that. Can't be stealing or anything right now. I can't crawl back little by little. I want to see if I can string something together. Get a few runs this inning. That would be great. Back to the top of the order. Feeling good about things here. 
And uh, Izzy, the three hitter, is going to have... No! Uh, I, uh, I don't know what I was doing. I thought they were going to catch it. Izzy's going to have bad mojo when she comes up to bat, but hopefully she can still do what she's got to do there. Taylor's kind of on a... I don't want to say cold streak. Still batting over 500 and all that. But I swung at the first pitch, didn't I? Or am I supposed to take till I get a strike here? Look at that 2-0 count. Can you walk me, please? That'd be bad juju on your end to be walking somebody on a one up 8 nothing. There we go. I'm going to do a little more contact swing. I can't be trying to hit home runs right now. With Izzy, I might. Because I know she'd want to right now. I said I wanted three runs. See how Mojo lowered her, her numbers here? So, let's see. They got the corners up, anticipating possibly bunt. Probably because the pitcher's up. And that was a contact swing. That's hit pretty well. Not far. Oh, 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 oh. Off the wall. Go, 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 go. I'm sending her. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Oh, good. Good job, Izzy. That's good if it ups her mojo, too, because that helps for pitching. So, good. And Raya's back to normal now. She's back to neutral mojo. Um, I got to bring her back here. She has five home runs on the year, if I recall correctly. This is game seven. That'd be cool if I could do a home, if I could average a home run a game. That's funny. I never had a thought that that ball was going to go out. Like, I was like, that ball's not going to go out. But that was so close to going out that I really should have had a thought about it. Sometimes when you hit it, you kind of just know. But then again, the other team is hitting it. And I can't tell that their balls are going out. As far as they are. It's funny. Warning track power happens a lot on this game. And that doesn't... To me, it doesn't mean that you just missed it either. If you know what I mean. Like, you can really... Like, she squared a ball up and that felt good. Top spinned it a little bit, though. I like that car that goes up on that rock thing. Okay, so see the roof? It's not actually closed. And it can't actually close in this game. The time of day can't change. I think they're going to close the roof. This is a cool stadium, though. Uh, I saw a little donut sign in the background there. Sting McGee! He's the guy who homered. One of the guys who homered, I should say. So, Izzy's mojo is not perfect right now. She's still in a tense groove, especially with this hitter up. I'm gonna be careful. This is their catcher. Is this the guy who I said can hit but can't run? I want him to put it... Even if I walked him, it's not the worst thing. I still want anyone to homer right now. You know what I think is happening is I'm throwing her fastball a lot. And they're kind of anticipating it a lot. I gotta work more at the other... Even the other fastballs. Like, this is her cut fastball. I'm gonna try and... Ugh. Try to backdoor him right there. And a 3-2 changeup. Let's see what we... Oh, shoot. That's ball four. Okay. That's okay. It's their catcher. Is that Elvis Stanley? Was that his name? Alfonso Delgado. Double. Alright. Good time for a double play, I would say. Really good time. Here we go. I, just, I say I'm going to get it, and then, hey, look at that, I'm going to get it. Oh, yes. You know what's going to be the one consistency thing that I say is going to be different? You know, we're 6-0 and when Paige Stovlin's in the lineup. And if we lose this game, we're 0-1 when she's not in the lineup, which means one thing. Get Paige Stovlin in the lineup. <laughs> um, that's that's obviously not the only thing there, but uh, that's good. All right, good 1-2-3 inning. That was the 7-8-9 hitters. It's kind of something that's good for Izzy. It was a short inning, even as far as pitch load. Probably threw about 10 pitches or less. So, that's going to keep her in the game a little bit longer as well. That's 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 kind of a good go. Now, some of my cold hitters stay cold through the rest of this kind of... Through this second at bat. And I'm really pressing for... There we go. That's what I'm saying. See, Morella heard my message. She said, don't worry, I'll get you your hit. But if some people stay cold, really got to think about making some swaps here. Gabby's been a hot player, batting 500 on the year, and she's the one who is hitting some home runs. It is legit what she's getting done. She can just be a regular starter, play some right field, play some for... Oh! Did I hit it? Oh, I thought I maybe hit it. I missed my pitch. That could have... I got under it. That could have been her fourth home run. Oh, darn. Darn. But Gabby is going to, you know... My dad used to say this to me, because, you know, I, I played baseball growing up, and I've, I, I've had my spurts of not being the hottest hitter. Honestly, I have. I trained myself to be a switch hitter later in life, and uh, when I was like 12 years old, and I, I had some cold streaks batting lefty. Heck, sometimes batting righty, because I only batted righty with lefties up. But my dad said this. He said, you know, well, number one, oh, nice, Jaro. Hang on. She can score. There we go. Good. I'll crawl back a little bit there. I, I did want three runs. I wanted to feel like I'm close enough. The Grand Slam doesn't tie it, clearly. But, you know, you're, 
You're within striking distance in this game if you're within five runs. We still have plenty of time to go. Another five innings, and then I can do the crawl back run. And yes, Taylor, that's what I like from you. And I'm going to stretch you to two. I hope. Yes! Kendall, Kendall's batting 500 on the air. I mean, that that's nothing to slouch at there. I shouldn't have swung, but you know what? Yes! Batting over 500 on the air. I love this power alley. I like this field. I should not be stretching this third. Oh my god. Okay, good. Um, okay. I'm doing pretty well now. I'm lowering the pitcher's mojo. Izzy's back to neutral. Look at that. This is cool. And you know what's really cool about this is if we knock this pitcher out, and I'm not saying their whole bullpen's bad. All I saw was a single number that had two bars on it that said that their bullpen overall probably isn't the best. You know, that was a good take anyway. All right. You know, sometimes when you tell pitchers that if you're 3-0, you might as well take the next two pitches. Not that she's a pitcher pitcher like that, but I want to get a walk. I kind of do. Um, okay, I'm. don't worry. I remember two old conversations. No, no, no. Oh, I should have gotten a walk. Darn it. There are two conversations that I did want to go back to. Now I'm forgetting what one of them was. Oh, so they're pitching. They're bullpen. Nine hits. See, even though I upped the uh, batting. Um... If I, if I knock this pitcher out early, then I have a good chance to get deep in their bullpen. And here's really why it's good. I'm facing them twice in a row. And they're facing me twice in a row as well. But I'm facing them twice in a row and they don't have a good bullpen. We have a pretty decent bullpen. You know, we can get by. Uh, especially Alyssa and Bob in the back end. And Tony's a power pitcher. I'm probably the worst of the bullpen guys when it comes to specialty stuff. I can hold my own as well. All our pitchers are good. Our whole team's good. Right? We're the Bearcats. We're good. But if I can get in their bullpen early, that's good for two reasons. Number one, we face this team twice in a row. That means that if we knock out their starting pitcher early, we're going to get their bullpen tired. And then, oh, shoot. And then that means, yeah, no error there. That's right. We don't, we don't need Paige in the lineup there. That shortstop, we got our shortstop. Uh, oh, cool. I saw a little bear cat. Oh, I never really look at the fans, but notice how the fans are mostly their team colors. You can see a couple black and orange fans right there i think i see uh yeah there we go there's jaro's mom sure no no I, I don't know who's where um anyway if i get in their bullpen that'd be good because they're an inferior bullpen and i'd be tiring them out or i'd at least be working them a little bit and that's really even if it doesn't work wonders shoot they crushed that pitch oh how far was that i don't even know who this was in the lineup i think it was the three hitter 451 feet oh my god first home run of the season though i mean he's a good hitter i don't know how the simulation works in this game they're gonna knock in they're gonna go in my bullpen soon too i'll tell you what if i can get her mojo back i did have her mojo back but if i can keep it she hasn't thrown too many pitches so she can go for six innings still not be a problem okay i fooled him but he just crushed it whoo whoo i i I like this park. I like the cookie cutter dimensions of this thing. And because, the, see, if that's at Sakura Hills, that ball's out of here. That's the deepest part of the yard. And off the very top of the higher wall, notice how there are two walls, a smaller one and a taller one? Probably isn't the deepest part, but considering it was oppo, it, it's the most power you needed to get it. No, Gabby! Shoot. Sorry, Izzy. We'll take care of it. We'll pick her up. We'll pick her up. We're good. Cheyenne Hill, I I expect I expect this runner to steal during this at bat. By the way, there they go. I didn't throw it hard enough. I expected it. I didn't throw it hard enough. Okay. Who's on deck? Seven hitter. I'm gonna throw around her. I'm not gonna walk her. But I'm gonna throw around her. If she swings, she swings. If I walk her, I walk her. I walked him. All right. Got the seven hitter up. This is Elvis. Sting McGee. I don't know if... Wait, was there an Elvis or did I say someone just looked like Elvis? Maybe I said he looks like Elvis because they call him Elvis. All right. There's seven hitter here. Still a good hitter. See, the problem is I can't see the hitters and stuff on deck when this stuff happens. All right. Here we go. This is pressure, Izzy. 2-0 count. Bases loaded. Two out. I got to focus. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm throwing close to down the middle here. 
Oh, no. All right. They're going home. Come on, Dulce. Nice throw! Get her done! All right. A run scored after that home run. That's, you know what? I had a 3-0 count. What else do you do? It's kind of my fault. I walked, I threw around the other girl to force the bases loaded so that the walk was like a thing. You know what I mean? So that the walk is an issue. Now if I walk the next girl, a run scores, or the next player, a run scores anyway. So, you know, what do you do? What do you do? Sorry for checking. Um, anyway, I want to go back to something else that I was talking about before. You know, I was, I was talking about my dad. Um, uh, my dad passed away about five years ago, by the way. But he told me, you know, back in high school, you know, there was this other kid, David, who, um, who was a pretty decent hitter. He was younger than I was, I think a year younger. He played my positions a little more power than I had um, and was streaky. You know, he was streaky. He was doing well. He was called up early for varsity. And it's one of those things where, you know, you don't really call someone up unless you plan to play him. So, you know, writing was on the wall. Ooh, get there. There we go. Writing was on the wall for me. I have to earn my spot in the lineup. And look, I'm a great deal. I, I, I had great speed growing up. I still have really good speed. Great defender growing up. All that kind of stuff. And I think I attributed that on this game. I made sure I had speed and defense as a part of my game. And however, my dad said something. Ooh, nice. I'm going to keep the bases loaded. My dad said something that was really key. He's, you know, obviously got to earn your spot in the lineup. But the thing is... Ooh, Gabby. Hang on. I'm going to step out for a second. But the thing is... And here's how my dad said it. If you can hit, the coach can find a spot for you in the lineup. It doesn't matter if your defense is shoddy and yada, yada, yada. If you can hit, a coach can find a spot for you in the lineup. So speaking of which, I have Gabby up. She can hit right now. She did make an error at first base. She did. But she can hit. I can find a spot for her in the lineup. Because now something like this happens. Yes, an unearned run just scored in that last half inning, I think, as a result of her error. And I'm not saying she's going to make amends right now, but she could make amends right now and score four runs on one swing of the bat. She has the ability to do so. She's done it three times so far this year. If you can hit, I have a spot for you in the lineup. And that's what we're going for now. No, no, no. I tried to check that swing. Darn it. I wanted that 2-0 count. Woohoo! I wanted to check just like that. That's exactly what I wanted. I, uh, I'm not swinging very well in this at bat. Sorry, Gabs. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Why are you going to two? Ooh, I should have kept going to two. There we go, Gabby. See? Made amends. She has a net positive result right now, offensively versus defensively. And I knocked out the pitcher, and they have a crap reliever in, and this is my time. Here it is. It's the top of, I think, the fifth inning right now. Top of the fifth inning. I'm playing this team back-to-back. -back. They only have four relievers maximum. This pitcher, I want to knock. I'm not saying I'm going to. She's already kind of, she's been used. I want to knock her out. They have the in, They have the corners up. Dulce, if you can hit it over this infield, even as a sack fly, that would be cool. Stay out of the double play. That's what I'm really hoping for. Let me see what this pitcher has. Fastball, cutter, screwball. That's what I just saw there a little bit ago. Woo! That was your pitch, kid. Darn it. Okay, one out. Still have another opportunity. You know, a double play wouldn't have been bad. At least a run would have scored. If there was one out, now I can't hit into that double play. And Jaro's going to be on the up and up. She could do something here like a sack fly. That'd be incredible. No, 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 no. Why am I swinging? Situationally, that's terrible. There's a runner on third. What am I doing there? Okay, sorry, I'm looking at the situation. I want to look for a pitch up like that. Not that high. Get it. Okay, I'm going to contact swing. I can't strike out right now. Shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, bad situational hitting. That's on me. I'm swinging at crap. But we are at the top of the order. I want to get this run in. She's been on third base. This is a crap reliever. We haven't faced many female relievers, have we? Oh, Tay. Sorry, kid. Shoot. That's going to bring up that pitcher's mojo. That was a tense situation for her. And we had all the cards there ready for us to do some stuff, so... That was big that we didn't get at least another run. Um, anyway, yeah, so my dad was saying, hey, you can find your way in a lineup. You you can hit your way into the lineup. And furthermore, you can hit your way out of a lineup. And I did that temporarily. No! There we go. Way to pick it up, Gaps. Um, You can hit your way out of a lineup as well. Look, they're keeping her in the game. 
Her mojo's still not all the way up. I gotta throw strikes to her. If she hits it, she hits it. These are the kinds of hitters that, you know, you don't want to say at the end of the game that, like, oh, man, I mean, we got beat by the nine hitter, stuff like that. But you want to pitch to them as if they're the ones to beat you. You don't want to be beat by the three hitter in the way that you, you gave it up where you could have been throwing around them and doing some other things to circumvent throwing them. Throw strikes to those other guys, sandbag them a little bit. That's why I like to load the bottom of my lineup sometimes with some good hitters and see how they throw to me. I keep balance in there. They got to throw strikes at some point. And good thing my pitchers can hit. If there's one thing that my team has that other teams don't is I have really good hitting pitchers all the way through. Except for Bob. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Look, my team is clearly more stacked than other teams. I, I admit it. But that's but that's what they are. They are a stacked team. The, the Bearcats were a great team. We were 21-6. Should have at least been 22-5 and if not for me. And um, could it, you know, could have been even more so, all depending on whatever would happen. That thing could have gone undefeated, and we were. I don't want to know. Uh, uh, I don't want to say what our record was for like whatever, as far as like how long we were undefeated for. But we were. Whoa! But we were at least six and zero. I'd want to say probably even nine and zero. And so, I don't know when we got our first loss, but to be undefeated right now is not an unreasonable venture that I'm seeing right here for us right now. I. I don't want you to think that, oh man, I'm cheating my way out of everything. If you remember, I just upped my difficulty here. Hey, 3-0. Izzy got 3-0 last time as well, you remember that? Hey, I gotta walk! Patience. 100 points for patience. Beautiful. Alright. Whoops. Okay, they switch pictures. Hang on. Simba. Simba Delano. Look, their bullpen's not good. And the thing is... They, they had to pull them out, not because she walked her necessarily. Maybe it's the righty-on-righty -righty match. I, I'm not sure what it is, but their pitchers are going to get tired. They're not going to be able to go into their bullpen in the next game, or they're going to, and it's going to be crap and whatever else. And this bodes well for my... No matter what happens on this game, this bodes well for my next game when I'm throwing my number four pitcher with Emily. And, you know, I think... Ooh, 3-0 and again. I'm going to take... Yeah, look at this. Their, bull, their bullpen's not good. That's what I'm telling you right now. This is going to be the end of them here. And Monet's been hot. Two singles. Let's get the extra base hit. How about that? They're not throwing strikes. I'm coming back in this thing. Oh, there's a strike. What's he throw? Fastball, changeup, slider. All right, got a good mix there. I don't think relievers can have more than a few pitches. Ooh. Where is this going? Okay, I got to back. I got to go back. I didn't have to tag up there. There was already one out. I'm still in scoring position with Izzy here at second base. Just a base hit still scores her, so. Just praying for an off-the-wall kind of hit there. All right, Morella's been doing okay here. If she can get this clutch hit, man, she's going to keep herself in the lineup for a little bit here. She has a stance. There we go. Ooh, and what did I just say? Scoring position? She didn't score on the base hit. It was hit too hard. Maybe tagging up would have been a good thing. Hey, Gabby's up again. This is what I love. Clutch last time. Oh, hang on. New pitcher again. A little faster, but look at the accuracy. If she throws a meatball, Gabby's going to kill it. Doesn't matter if it's a fastball. Fastball, curveball, changeup. I'm waiting for a pitch down the middle. She's just going to rope. Oh, like that. No, come on. Why are you checking a swing? I'm not trying to. The thing is, I flick it too hard. I go like this, and it recoils and goes backward to check. Oh, my God. Did you see that pitch? No! Ugh. Knee-jerk reactions with this thing. I'm not helping myself out. I'll tell you this right now. I am not helping myself out here. Look at that. What am I swinging at? I just don't want to strike out looking. I'm too timid here. No! I struck out looking! I don't know if I meant to check. I didn't mean to check, mean to check. But when the pitch went by, I was like, oh, I'm glad I checked. That didn't look like a strike to me. Imagine that Grand Slam opportunity. I'm not helping myself. You know, I keep saying I should be winning this game. I should be winning this game right here. I'm doing the wrong thing. All right, Izzy, this looks like it's going to be your last inning, half inning here. And we're at the two, three, four hitters. You give up something right here, like a runner. I got to I think I got to go to Tony. Uh, good news is it's the you're in the three spot of the order, so I can still do that. I'll probably double switch even. Oh, whoops! I don't know what I did. I'm not going to discredit you for that one, Izzy. This this probably goes against conventional wisdom. Let me look at the situation. Dulce coming up to bat. Tony comes in. Going for Izzy. Good spot in the lineup for him to go into. 
One more batter. One more batter. I don't think they're going to steal right here. No! Okay, that's it. Sorry. And I fooled them, too. Couple... Couple of their players have been fooled and have hit it well. Oh, I definitely look at this. He's a single short of the cycle. Jose Carloco. Alright, Tony's going in for Izzy. Power against power here. I love the tat. Kind of a fly ball pitcher though, so this isn't the best matchup. I'm gonna slow I'm gonna slow ball him to start, and then I'm gonna go hard up and in. Still skied that. Look at that. Okay, they're tagging up. Whoa, scary. Defense stuff is scary here. Man. This is a rough game right here. This Elvis, here's Elvis. He homered. This is the time to steal. Stay out of the double play. You're up by three. I, I like the idea of a pitch out. I just I don't think they're gonna steal the first pitch. I'm gonna go the next pitch after that, so I gotta throw a strike to start. What do I want to do? Okay, I'm going to start by low. Start start by going low. Shoot. No! 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 Oh, missing location. Izzy's ERA is going through the roof now because that was another runner that came on as a result. Oh, my God. I'm calling all the stuff I want to do and I'm not executing. I think I'm strategizing it fine. But I'm not executing. Now Tony's mojo is going to be down. And it's not going to be a better hitter. Ugh, why couldn't you do that, guy? Why couldn't I throw the right pitch, right? It's weird. The fork ball and the curve ball. And look, I understand they can be hangers. Fork, fork ball, maybe not as much. It probably shouldn't be. But the fork ball and the curve ball, when thrown low, pitches that drop have a tendency to be skied a lot. I think it's just a way that this game really remedies the fact that you can't abuse that pitch. And I'm okay with that. It's just a funny concept that it seems to happen a lot more than a fastball that's low like this one. I bury them with a fastball, I tend to get a lot more ground balls. It's kind of kind of a bizarre contrast. There you go, Gabs. Yeah, you could field your position there. Oh, damage done again. Now I'm down by six. Suddenly, everything's changed. It was a three-run game. When Gabby's up with the bases loaded, I had the first and third situation with no outs in that other inning once. Don't say this is your last at-bat, kid. I gotta, I gotta make this thing work. If you get on, I'm gonna run for you. Whoops. Okay, this is a new reliever who, although generally not a good pitcher, is locked in. So, and it's a left. This is their closer. So they might, they, they don't have many relievers. To, this might be their last reliever to go here. So they're probably gonna run this reliever for the rest of the game, if you think about it like that. So I need to get, ooh, nice shot, don't say. So I'm gonna get... I gotta get this guy to work a little bit here. I'm gonna take till I get a strike for every batter if I remember to. Doesn't matter if the pitch is right down the middle. I'm gonna regret it when it is. But, uh, yeah, it's not down the middle. See, that's that's not a big strike to me. That's like that. That doesn't look like a strike to me. I took that with the. Okay, that looks like a strike. I took that with the intention of understanding that that might have been a ball. Apparently, it's a strike. Doesn't look like one to me. See, when you play MLB The Show. That pitch is nowhere near a strike. So maybe I'm just so grooved with that game that I'm kind of forgetting that. No wonder why I can't walk in this game. Besides me swinging at crap, these pitches way out here are still strikes. Ball three. All right, Tay. Ball four. All right. Believe it or not, I'm thinking of stealing. With Kendall up, two outs, I'm thinking of stealing here. I'd rather Kendall lead off the next inning have Tony bat then if Tony's still going to be in there. I'm not going to steal his first pitch, though. He just threw four balls in a row. Five balls in a row. If he goes 2-0, I'm going to disregard the steal until a strike happens. All right, 1-1. One, one. I'm going to steal now. Here we go, Tay. Ooh, that was a fastball. Shoot. Oh, that was close. Whew. All right, two strikes in you, though, Kendall. The steal's not enough. Oh! The steal's not enough. Now you got to drive her in. Oh, darn it. Okay. Okay, okay, now Tony leads off the next inning, so there you go. 8-9 top. If I can get these two, and you know, and the other guys, the, the nine hitters, the pitcher, unless they did a double switch, the nine hitters, the pitcher. I don't think they did a double switch, so either they'll have to force a pinch hit, which I don't think so, or they'll, they'll have to face him. So I think I'm good against the nine hitter. Even if this other guy gets on, at least he'll still have to maybe bunt. Come on, there we go, Gabby. Look at that defense. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Their pitcher... Stays in the game. He's kind of gotta. Because I think he's gotta ride the next few innings. Which, again, 
I might lose this game. This might be my first loss, all right? But everything is a lot better for the next game with that because they can't go to their bullpen as fast. Or if, or if they do, they'll all be a little bit lower on the stamina pole, which is good. And I still have an opportunity to do stuff in this game. What I'm fearing right now is their offense at the top of this order. That's a decent curveball. Can't believe that one curveball I just hung. I had, a, I had a sequence in mind. Ah, it's top of the order. I had a sequence in mind, and I couldn't execute on the first pitch. I was trying to... I wanted to throw a runner out. I wanted to do stuff like that. But I thought a few steps ahead of what I could actually get to. And normally that's not how you sequence pitches. You know, if something's a strikeout situation, like where a strikeout's kind of necessary, yeah, you think ahead for that strikeout for a moment. However... If you don't have two strikes on a batter... <laughs> there, now he's stealing. Now he's going to steal here full count. So the play's at one. I'm going to throw a curveball in the low and inside corner. Whoo! There we go. I don't throw the curveball in that spot very often. So that's good that I got that for Tony and start. He's leading off the inning. Can't hit a six-run homer. But he can do enough. If he gets on, eh, he can still run. Maybe. I'm, pro I'm probably going to run for him. I'll see if there's a fast runner on the bench. I haven't subbed anybody yet. I got to get, in fact, I'm going to, I should have pulled out Dulce and gotten in probably Jada or something. I'm probably going to have Jada run or somebody like that. Julia. Yeah, man, I got some hitters here. So for Dulce, probably going to get a hitter. I'll figure something else out there. Um, I don't necessarily need to do anything. I, look, I'm down by six. I can't be thinking tying the game right now. I just got to think work your way Ugh, work your way into it and kind of see what can come from there Jesus that was a good pitch I just swung too early all right Raya Woo! nice shot I forgot to take it until I get a strike take until you get a strike because remember if anything you lower his stamina by doing that just remember that Brandon you lower his stamina by taking pitches. And that's important. I keep I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop talking about that. Cause it's important. Look, I gotta score six runs in the last inning at least. And this guy's still trying to go for the wait, he's four for four as well. Maybe he has the cycle. I'll have to check on that. Alright, double switch time. No. Bob is locked in, but this isn't the game to throw him right now. I'm going to mop up with myself. Yeah, no double switch time. Let's stick with this. But Dulce, I'm going to put in... I need I need runner. I need people to get on. Who's most likely... Yeah, I, I obviously paid. She's always on fire. But I want her in the game tying situation. I want someone to get on who can... Who's got to play outfield. So it's got to be Jada here. So Jada's going to... Excuse me. Be in the outfield. I'm going to get... I still, oh, I still want Gabby to bat. Okay, I'm going to stick with this for now. I might get Julia in at third. Just give me at short, if need be, but let's even get her to bat later. All right, this guy's four for four. He's locked in. See, this is the scouting stuff i got to be careful of. And these are the guys, I'm not saying I'm okay to walk right now because I'm down by six. I can't walk somebody here. If they homer, they homer. Uh, but, man, some of these guys are just on Fire. Five for five! And I don't know if the double is his cycle, but I'm depriving him of that if he was going to try it. But, uh, man, this team, they're no slouch. They're one in, what, one in five or last place in my division, whatever? They are no slouch. Why are you stealing, you jerks? That's right. Oh, darn it. I got to figure out the throwing runners out as a catcher. Notice how my throwing power has been bad. And, that, and that's why they're able to steal successfully. It's not because Monet, because I'm getting a throwing power of like 20. 30. Ooh, nice situational at bat there. I'll be a 2 0 count with the 4 hitter. Nice situational at bat. I gotta go infield in, right? Even with Elvis up. Ooh, they got infield in for me. Thank you. But, uh, no! And that's the uh, drawback of having the infield in, of course. Down by 7. Brandon. They got a lot of fans, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Whew! Alright. 
See, they sure sky the curveball a whole lot. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I got to score seven runs. I haven't had this... Well, I think I did have a situation where I was down. Didn't I hit a walk-off home run or something like that? Walk-off pinch hit home run with right? I think I did. But I got to talk about the situation if, it, if I didn't before. Ooh, hit and run a little bit. I, um... I have to talk, I have to remind my teams about this every game that I'm losing or every game that I'm winning here. But the tying run is not up at the plate until the tying run is up at the plate. You know what I mean? The first six hitters of this inning, even if they all hit home runs or all got on safely, do not. Oh, they had another re. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's not a pitcher. That's a defender. So see, they're doing the swaps too. They're three hitter. Not a better defender than this Ricky Kwan. So they're they're pulling all the stops here. But uh, the first six batters of this inning are not the tying runners here. Doesn't matter if I walk or homer or double or anything like that. I just got to stay safe for the first, first six batters. I got it. My goal is to get the tying run to the plate at all costs. I can't steal. I can't, you know, do things like that. So I, I should have I taken the pitch. I don't know what I was doing. But I got to do things like this. Get on base. Is that one going out? Oh my god, that was close. I love this. I love the stadium. See, I should, I'm not risking going to third. I could have made it. Probably should have made it. Probably would have made it. There's no worth running that risk. If I get out, the tying run is just seven hitters away from getting to the plate again. When she's on base, now the tying run is only six hitters away. Gabby up. I do want Gabby up, but for her power, not for her ability to get on. Maybe this was a time to put in Julia. Oh, well. See, I'm not going to send her home. There we go. Only reason I would possibly send her home, and this this is way overthinking it. Only reason I would possibly send her home is to force them to throw it home so that Gabby can go to second base so the force isn't on. You know what I mean? And this is a good start to this inning, and I'm lowering his mojo. This is huge, and his stamina is lower. If there's a chance for me to come back, this is it. And Jada Waka up. Little Jada Waka with the blue suede shoes. Here we go. And it's lefty Jada, too, which means she's more of a successful contact hitter than power hitter. Even though when she was batting righty, she never she never hit it out. Ooh, three and one. I'm going to take another pitch here. I have faith in her being able to make contact with two strikes. Here we go. Because I don't want to swing at anything bad. You know, I wanted to get the possibility of walking. I don't think that was going to be ball four. I'm not going to tag up and try and score here. Again, it's just not worth the risk. What if they throw What if they throw them out there? All right, let's see. Is Jaro... They swapped him. They swapped him to a starting pitcher. Look at that. That's how deep they're going. Look how low his stamina was and stuff. I would have come back. They swapped to a starter. I ran through their bullpen. That's how low... Even if I lose this game, I'm winning the larger battle. I'm winning the larger battle. Jaro's been hot. Less contact than Julia. This is a time to put in Julia for now. Speed's not going to be the one that kills except for avoiding the double play. Jaro's been okay, but I'm going to try Julia here. How many hitters am I away from tying, even if Brandon comes up? That's when I'd put in Paige. I'd put her in for me, possibly, or somebody else to hit there. Maybe I can hit myself. I don't know. We'll see. A lefty. All right. There we go. All right, Julia. Way to work. Thank you for coming in there, kid. Now, double play is still in order. I'm still one swing away from losing this game, but this is cool. Back at the top of the order. The tying run is 8-14. Two runners on. The tying run is clean up right now. It's still far away. Wait. Still far away, but that person's Raya. If the others get on. Right now, I'm play. I'm fastball, slider, curveball, forkball, changeup. Oh, my goodness. But this, this is the time. Here we go. What can we do? See, I don't think Taylor's going to hit into a double play. That's the good news. Uh-oh. She knocked it down. All right. Now, in a situation like this in real life, Taylor should be able to steal second without consequence. They shouldn't throw it down. I might test it. I, I'm not going to test it. But I would test it. No, you know what? Look, they're not even holding her on. Well, I don't think this game has pickoffs. I don't know how to steal second only. I think I just hit the up button. I'm going to try it. I'm going to steal second, and I'm going to see if they throw down. Ooh, I'm going to swing at that. There we go. Oh, look, the steal helped. They were covering second. I don't know why I'm going to third. They were covering second. And did you see the second baseman? They broke over to cover, 
and that left that hole open. So that really helped here. And Brandon, batting zero on the year, you're probably 0 for 1. But I have, do you want Paige? I want Paige here in this situation. She's hot, then Raya and Monet. If, if I have a chance to tie this game up, this is going to be it right here. <coughs> Pinch hitting, Paige Stoveland. I mean, not, not right here in this at bat, but in this sequence of hitters. My normal 3-4-5 hitters. Here we go. Still swinging contacts right now. And I've gotten better at taking pitches. You know, whenever I power swing, it tend to be, yeah, that's what I want. And I am going to get off first base here and go to second. And why not just score? You can score this one. There's there's no risk running that. You're going to score. There we go. Can I do it? I don't think they're going to walk me here. We'll see. How's their pitcher? She's low. She's a lefty. Lefty righty. Oh, here we go. My palms are sweating. It's slipping out of the controller. I know. It's kind of gross. Oh, come on. All right. I'm going to contact swing here. Oh, jeez. Beat it, Raya. No! Okay. My first loss of the year. My first loss of the year right there. A lot of it was so my fault. Let's let's chalk up the three scenarios where I really killed us here. The 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 first one batting. I had two that were batting offensively. The one first and third no outs and Dulce was up or somebody was up and I popped up and then Jaro I think popped up and then Taylor lined out something like that. Soft or line out whatever it was. I, I forget. I think Jarl lined out to second, and Taylor lined out to center. So, first and third, no outs, couldn't get a run in. That that was a problem. Bases loaded, two outs with Gabby up, and I'm not saying that that's something where she has to come through. Nothing like that. In fact, she came through before that in grand fashion. But um, see, I still got 19 hits. I upped my difficulty. Granted, they had a worse pitching team, um, and I did a lot more contact swing there, and I drew a walk or two. That was cool. So, Gabby being up, bases loaded, two outs. My problem was I was swinging at crap. I did not swing at good pitches in that at bat there. Um, that was one where, you know, if, look, if she homers, I, we're winning. You know what I mean? If she hits a grand slam. So, it's more of just looking at the what could have been in that situation. Not like it was a her fault, my fault kind of thing. It's what could have been. The last one that was my fault was when Tony was pitching and I hung that curveball. That was bad. That was a three-run homer. That went from 7-10 to 7-13. And that was the one that killed it. Their guy, Steed, went 5 for 5. They had a 3 for 5. I want to take a picture of this and make sure to go back to it. I want to look at this stuff for the next game because we're playing them again. That next game. And you're going to see that. Um, if you're looking at this on April 3rd or whatever day I'm uploading this thing, you'll see the next game up on April 4th when we play them. And I want to know who did what and who was hot. Uh, their pitchers, though. this this Look, long, long term... You really got to think of it this way, and this is always how I think of things whenever I coach as well. No, I'm not going to win every game, and I'm not. I'm going to try and put us in a position to win every game. Sorry, I'm looking at this. Kendall did extremely well. Morella did extremely well. Julia had that pinch hit as well. For this next game, I might break my uh, thing of saying Morella and Julia can start in the same game. I'll probably start them both in this next game, and because Julia hasn't started for a while, Morella stayed hot. It's one of the exceptions because Morella's been hot, uh, and I think it's just something I want to do. But, uh, yeah, so again, long-term, long-term-wise, God, look at our ERAs. Oh, my goodness. Ugh, sorry, Iz. You did your thing, kid, but it, unfortunately, it just wasn't a good game. God, players of the game there. Elvis. No bonuses. Yeah, I deserve that. Thank you. Um, long-term success. I'm going to at least win one of the two games is my thought to this thing. I think I'm going to win this next game. We're getting their number four pitcher in there. If we can knock them out early, we got to go to their bullpen again. Their bullpen's just on the low end. So I think I'm going to run up the score pretty well in this next one. We'll see if Emily throws okay. But their offense, man, got to give it to their offense. The Blowfish. That's what they're going to be doing. So viewing the schedule one more time here. Playing the Blowfish one more time. <laughs> Excuse me. First loss. Notice So notice the score breakdowns here. Giving up 10 runs the first game, and then we didn't give up more than 4 runs any of the next few games. Upping the difficulty, pitching difficulty, just by 5 more on the ego number here. And I'm going to keep it up at 95. We'll see what I can do. Keep it kind of more realistic here, just as in, like, uh, as in more balanced. Uh, I'll keep it there. We'll see what I can do. But notice me upping the difficulty did hand us our first loss. And also, Paige didn't play the game. 
So Paige is going to be in the lineup the next game here. That'll do it for this one, guys. Uh, I hope to see you the next day here as we play the Blowfish at the Blowfish Stadium again, I do believe. I'm going to check that one more time. Yep, Blowfish Stadium again. We're going to do some damage here. We're going to put on the white hats, I think, this time. We're going to show them a little bit something different. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Love you.